Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about how to find time complexity of recursive functions. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. As you know, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. In our previous two videos, we have seen how to find time complexity of iterative functions. Today we are going to see how to find time complexity of a recursive function. Then what is a recursive equation we must understand first. A recursive equation is a relation that defines a sequence recursively. So the example of a recursive function can be like this. Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus n for n greater than 0. And for t0 the value is 0. So whatever function we are writing, that same function will be using in the bodies. So this part is called a recurrence relation and this is called a initial condition or a base condition. Based on the base condition, the recurrence relation will terminate. In order to find the time complexity of recursive function, we basically have three methods. First one is substitution method. Second one is master's theorem and the third one is tree method. In this video we are going to concentrate only on substitution method. When we want to find the time complexity of a recurrence relation, substitution method is used. So substitution method is one of the method. And to find time complexity by using substitution method, we can have either forward substitution or backward substitution. We will see both of this using some example. So in forward substitution what we do, the initial condition is used to generate the initial term and the value of the next term is generated subsequently. So this process is continued till some general formula is guessed. So let us try to understand this with the help of an example. So here a recurrence relation is given Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus 1 with the initial condition t0 equal to 0. Now when n equal to 1, we'll be having t1 value. So t1 will be tn minus 1, that is t0 plus 1. So t0 value we already have as the initial condition, that is 0. So we'll substitute this value here and 1 becomes here. So t1 become 1. Already we had t0 equal to 0. So now we want to find t2 for n equal to 2. We are having t0 equal to 0 and t1 equal to 1. We will be using these values while finding t2. So t2 will be what? t1 plus 1. t1 value already we found that is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So t2 value is 2. Similarly t3 value will be t2 value plus 1. That is 3. So t3 value is 3. In a similar fashion, I can write tk value will be k and tn value will be n. Now, if tn is equal to n, the time complexity will be big O of n. I hope you understood this. Let us try to do one more problem for your better understanding. So, here a simple change is there. In place of 1, we have written n. So, tn equal to t n minus 1 plus n with the same initial condition t0 equal to 0. Now if we take n equal to 1, t1 will be t0 plus 1. That is tn equal to tn minus 1 plus n. So it will become t1 equal to t0 plus 1. So the value is 1. Now we are having t1 value is 1. Now take n equal to 2. So t2 value will be t1 plus 2. That is 3. We will be using t2 value to find t3 value. So t3 value will be t2 plus 3. That is 6. So in this fashion it will be increasing. It means what? It is nothing but sum of first n number. So that's why for n equal to k 
pk will become k into k plus 1 by 2. So the time complexity will be big O of n square. We have learned here how to use forward substitution method in order to find time complexity of a recurrence relation. So what we did, we started with the initial condition that we have given and kept on finding till we get a general term. And from that general term, we find the complexity. The reverse is backward substitution. So in this method, what we do? The substitution is done recursively in the reverse order and the process continue till some general formula is guessed. Let us do the same two problem what we have used for forward substitution. So Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus 1 with initial condition T0 equal to 0. So this is the formula Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus 1. Now what is the value of Tn minus 1? Tn minus 1 value will be Tn minus 2 plus 1. Now substitute it here. We will be getting Tn minus 2 plus 1 and this plus 1. Then what is the value of Tn minus 2? Tn minus 2 is nothing but Tn minus 3 plus 1. Again substitute it back here. We will be getting Tn minus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So in this question, we will be having Tn equal to Tn minus k plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 k times. When k becomes n, we will be getting Tn equal to Tn minus n. This term will become 0 and this term will become sum of 1's n time. That is n. So Tn equal to T0 equal to 0 already we know and this n here. So Tn equal to n. So the complexity will become big O of n. Using forward substitution method also we got the same result. Let us do the other problem what we did in forward substitution. Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus n with the initial condition T0 equal to 0. Now find Tn minus 1 value. So Tn minus 1 is nothing but Tn minus 2 plus n minus 1. Now this value you write it here. What you will get? Tn equal to Tn minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. Now do we have T of n minus 2? So T of n minus 2 is nothing but T of n minus 3 plus n minus 2. Now substitute it back in the equation. We will be getting Tn equal to Tn minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n. So in this fashion if we we'll go for k times we will be getting Tn equal to Tn minus k plus n minus k plus 1. So in this way n minus 3, n minus 2, n minus 1 and n. And when k becomes n we will be getting T0. So Tn will be equal to T0 plus 1 plus 2 up to n. And T0 value is 0. So this is nothing but sum of first n numbers. And the general formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. So the complexity is big O of n squared. Let us take some extra problems. Let us take Tn equal to T of n minus 1 plus T of n minus 2. With the initial condition T0 equal to 1 and T1 equal to 1. So this is the equation given to us. Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus Tn minus 2. What we are going to do? Now try to find the value of Tn minus 1. So Tn minus 1 will be what? Tn minus 2 plus Tn minus 3. Substitute it back. So you will be getting 2 Tn minus 2 plus Tn minus 3. Now try to find the value of Tn minus 2. Tn minus 2 according to this recurrence relation it will be t n minus 3 plus t n minus 4. Now substitute it back. You will be getting t n equal to 3 t n minus 3 plus 2 t n minus 4. Now again we need to find t n minus 3 value. So in that way if we will go up to k states we can get t n equal to k into t n minus k plus k minus 1 t n minus k plus 1. 
Now take k equal to n minus 1. When you are taking k equal to n minus 1, tn value will be n minus 1 into t1 plus n minus 2 into t0. Already the base condition is given t1 equal to 1 and t0 equal to 1. So if we substitute it, we are getting 2n minus 3 and it is nothing but big O of n. Let us take one more problem. Tn equal to 2 into Tn by 2 plus 1 with initial condition T1 equal to 1. So for this particular problem, we need to find the value of T of n by 2. So T of n by 2 according to this formula it will be 2 into T n by 2 into 2 plus 1. So it is nothing but 2 square. So if we want to write it, it will be 2 square T of n, 2 square plus 2 into 1 plus 1. Again, we are having one more recurrence relation, T of n by 2 square. How to find the value of this? And the value of T of n by 2 square is nothing but 2 into T of n by 2 into 2 into 2, that is 2 cube plus 1, according to this particular formula. So if we substitute, we will be getting T n equal to 2 cube T n by 2 cube plus 2 square plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0. So in this fashion, we will be going up to k step. After k step, we will get 2 to the power k T of n by 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k in this way up to 2 to the power 0. And when 2 to the power k equal to n, we will be getting this particular formula. So Tn will be become n into 1 plus 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1. And it is same as n into 2 into 2 to the power k minus 1. So in place of 2 to the power k, we have taken n, substituted back. So we are getting 3n minus 1. It is nothing but big O of n. In this session, this is the last problem we will do. Let us try. Tn equal to 2 into T n by 2 plus n with T of 1 equal to 1. We will proceed the problem as we did in our previous problem. So we need to find T of n by 2. So T of n by 2 is nothing but 2 into T of n by 2 square plus n by 2. Now replace it back here. You will be getting 2 square T of n by 2 square plus 2 into n. Now, again, we are having a recurrence relation T of n by 2 square. So, what is the value of that? And the value will be 2 into T n by 2 cube plus n by 2 square. Now, substitute it back here. You will be getting T n equal to 2 cube T of n by 2 cube plus 3 n. Now, in this fashion, if you will go up to k steps, you will get T n equal to 2 to the power k t n by 2 to the power k plus k n. Now if you will take 2 to the power k equal to n, the same thing you can write in this question. That t n equal to n into t n by n plus k n. n by n is 1. t of 1 is 1. And the value of k in terms of n if you want to write, use this particular relation and it will be log base to n into n. The complexity of this term will be maximum of the first term and the second term. It is nothing but maximum of big O of n plus big O of n log base to n. So the complexity is n log base to n. I hope you understood how to solve recurrence relation using forward or backward substitution. In our next video we are going to talk about how to use master's theorem in order to find the time complexity of the recurrence relation. See you then. Take care. Bye.